Welcome back everybody, I am the Jimmer, and this is the Propane 1 million RP King of the Hill Championship. And uh, today's contender is the Broadsword by the Shadow Kick. Uh, this is a very cool ship, has that uh, digital camo look to it, very cool, very futuristic. Featuring uh, some, some massive guns. Very uh, traditional uh, battleship design with just huge custom cannons. Not the advanced custom cannons, just the regular custom cannons here. But uh, those those can definitely put out uh, just as much, if not more, uh, DACA than the new advanced cannons. And also uh, sporting some missiles. And I haven't checked as I have. It looks like, yes, indeed, there are uh, torpedoes as well. So, uh, has a full complement of uh, weapons. Um, very flat bottom, riding very high in the water. Looks like it would be uh, lower in the water. But, uh, yes, this is the Broadsword by the Shadow Kick. And uh, this is going to be the first round of our third episode. And uh, we'll feature this Broadsword um, as, as far as it can go in the competition. And uh, up against the Broadsword is the Speedy Venus. By myself, the Jimmer. Uh, this is a dual entry, two, two uh, identical uh, thruster craft with uh, both lasers as well as missiles. And uh, as the name would imply, they are very speedy. But uh, that's enough with the introductions. Let's uh, get this sped up and get this battle underway. Alright, we're at full speed here. We see the lasers from the Speedy Venus engaged. Uh, we see the missiles coming from the Broadsword, but um, so far it looks like the Speedy Venus has been, out, been able to outrun these missiles. Is Yes, we can see the Broadsword is deploying smoke. So, it's, uh, it might be maybe too far away for the cannons. Hopefully these uh, missiles are able to connect. Get a damage report. Alright, broadsword all the way down to 87. Speedy Venus at 100%. It appears that. Doesn't look like the lasers are doing much damage, but it appears that the missiles from the Speedy Venus are landing. Uh, the broadsword doesn't appear to have any lambs. Or maybe the lambs. Are, no, there's, there's definitely lambs. They must just be. Uh, have been taken offline. Follow, let's follow this missile and see. It's definitely fast. It's uh, faster than the camera, but still having a hard time uh, catching up to the speedy Venus. It's getting close. Can it do it? The speedy Venus has no lamb, so if this missile is able to close the distance, it, it will connect. Oh, and it has run out of fuel. Let's see if this, these missiles are uh, able to get any closer. Yeah, I think uh, I think the uh, fatal flaw in these missiles is that they don't have uh, target prediction and guidance. I mean, it's uh, it's an extra block. But uh, to catch, you know, very, very fast um, thruster craft, you really can't, you can't chase them. Unfortunately, the missiles, I mean, it seems like the missiles should be faster than the aircraft, but you're able to build um, aircraft in this that are, are way faster than the missiles. So unless the missiles can sort of uh, get in front of their target, um, they, they really don't have much chance of catching up unless they're, they're shooting at uh, 
something stationary or like a surface vessel like a ship that doesn't move that fast. But pretty much anything airborne is just going to be so fast, uh, the, the missiles just can't catch up. Sometimes the, the target prediction and guidance can uh, put the missile out in front of the thruster craft and uh, it'll take damage. But uh, it's th sometimes not even that's enough, uh, depending on how fast the vehicle is. Alright, looks like the broadsword uh, doing some sinking. I mean, it doesn't look that damaged. Um, I mean, it's, it's taken, it's taken a, a good uh, number of missiles, but... Oh, there's uh, a losing another turret and another turret, yeah. The uh, armor is starting to strip off now. Let's uh, get a uh, damage report. Oh, broadsword all the way down to 58. It's going to start despawning soon. It must have uh, taken a lot of damage uh, to the inside. That's kind of hard to tell. Oh, it's ammo store. I just saw a huge bit of ammo there. So its ammo stores are still intact. Just looks like it was just chipped away. I um, can't tell if it was the lasers. I'm pretty sure it was the missiles. Not sure why the uh, lambs wasn't uh, firing. Um, the the Speedy Venus is only firing um, around. Each one of them fires around six missiles at a time. So unless they like land really well, where both um, both ships shoot their missiles at the same time, it's only it's only six missiles coming in. A, a decent sized lambs should be able to take uh, most of those now most of those out. And as we saw with uh, the Speedy Venus went against the Friday, the Friday's lambs completely negated all the missiles. We watched uh, we watched a good hour and a half of uh, battle there, and I think the uh, missiles from the Speedy Venus only hit the Friday maybe two or three times. Yeah, I expect this to... St there we go. Too damaged. So it appears that in the first round, the uh, broadsword by the shadow kick has been stopped. But uh, we'll get this restarted and uh, see if it's able to um, use those lambs to good effect. I want to see those uh, custom cannons. I mean, they, they look very impressive. Sort of dominate the uh, silhouette of the ship. But uh, in that round, we didn't see them firing. But uh, let's uh, let's restart this and see see how it goes in the next fight. And here we go, round two is underway. And let's get over here. Yes, we can see the lambs from the broadsword are firing. So hopefully those uh, stay active. See the lasers coming in. Is it deploying smoke? I'm not seeing the smoke this time. 
we might be losing it to degraded mode, but no, it appears these lasers are are landing in full. I'm not I'm not seeing it deploy smoke. And we definitely saw smoke last time, so I know it has it. But it uh, just doesn't seem to be deploying it. Yeah, there we go. We see the lambs taking out these missiles. I mean, there's just not uh, not enough missile volume to overwhelm the lambs on the broadsword, and it is taking out all these missiles now. Let's see if uh, the missiles from coming out of the broadsword are able to catch up. Let's see uh, missiles passing in the air right there, waving to each other. I think these all no, these failed to uh, acquire their target. I think that is uh, what is getting through the uh, speedy weenus. Um, some of the missiles also have uh, torpedo propellers, um, so they will um, cruise through the water, and that's what's uh, able to get damage in on this broadsword. Broadsword looking uh, fairly damaged here. damage report. Boards are down to 70%. Speedy Weenus both at uh, 100%. Yeah, it's unfortunate. It looks like uh, this Speedy Weenus just is kind of a, a counter to the broadsword. You know, operating um, very, very far away and uh, being a little too fast for its missiles. Uh, the broadsword just really didn't uh, have a chance in this matchup. Um, it's a really cool ship. I really like the uh, the design. Uh, the silhouette is you know beautiful. Just really cool, um, classic. Uh, maybe like I, I'm not good with ships, but like maybe like a cruiser shape or something like that, or a destroyer. Probably more a destroyer. I I, I really don't know. I'm not I'm not uh, very good with uh, you know different types of ships. I mean they're all just kind of ships to me. But uh, yeah, very very cool design. And uh, hopefully you're able to kind of take uh, what happened in this battle and uh, make some changes and uh, see if we can uh, bring the destroyer back and, uh, or excuse me, <laughs> bring the broadsword back and uh, have it, uh, you know, have another chance to uh, get its revenge here on uh, the Speedy Weenus. I think, uh, you know, some, some TPG, the target prediction guidance for your missiles. Um, would probably have changed the outcome of this or possibly uh, maybe swap out one of your guns for a uh, custom cannon with a uh, high speed so it can uh, get these thruster craft that are just you know way out there but uh, overall you know re really fun uh, I wish we could have um, gone a little further in the tournament but I think uh, what we'll do is we'll do just like a quick like one match against the uh, other kings just sort of as an exhibition just so uh, we, had, we had a chance to see this broadsword a little bit more and uh, hopefully uh, see a little bit uh, uh, more of those I want to see it's uh, big guns I want to see the big guns fire but uh, yeah we'll uh, we'll let this go it's gonna be any minute here we're gonna see the uh, two damaged
And there it is, AI dead. And with that, the uh, Sneaky Weenus finally wins a battle. And the Broadsword is defeated. Uh, thanks again to the Shadow Kick for submitting this craft. Uh, like it, once again, I really like the design. Really, uh, really cool to look at, and uh, those those cannons are very impressive. And hopefully, you're able to you know make a, make a few adjustments, and uh, we'll see the broadsword again um, in the uh, propane King of the Hill Championship. So uh, after this, I'm just gonna load up a a quick battle um, between the broadsword and our remaining kings. It'll just be an exhibition match. It uh, won't won't count for anything, but uh, it should just just be entertaining. I think uh, it's something we'd all like to see. and here we go this is going to be the battle between the broadsword by the shadow kick and a yellow submarine by Morris the yellow submarine is our current second place king uh, very tanky very defensive um, deep diving submarine that features a huge variety of missiles very cool ship I, I really I really gotta say I, I love the, uh, the design somewhat of a uh, submarine oh man and look at these missiles come in the broadsword has uh, a decent lamb system but uh, that missile barrage that alpha strike is just insanity and you can just see it coming in here just missiles non-stop I, I believe I hear the lambs firing it may be uh, we're not seeing it due to the um, degraded mode but just look at all these missiles. Just an absolute rain. A, uh, a spaghetti of missiles. A fettuccine of missiles. Just a, a tangled mess of uh, missiles coming in here. And once again, we did not... I think I was uh, not looking the right way to see the cannons firing. So hopefully uh, we get a chance to see the cannons in our uh, next fight. We'll uh, put the broadsword here by the Shadow Kick up against the Friday by Xeronix, our uh, current champion. Screenshot of that. All right, and uh, with the broadsword uh, despawning. I'm gonna go ahead and just restart.
All right, and here we go. This is the Friday by Zionix, our current champion. Heavily armed, cluster craft. Not that fast, only about 70 meters a second, so the missiles coming from the broadsword um, have a much better chance of catching up to it. But unfortunately, its LAM system is just top notch able to take out uh, just incredible amounts of missiles as we saw in its battle with a yellow submarine. And we see these missiles from the broadsword were, were getting very close but uh, the lambs taking them out before they could land. And there we go, we see the cannon shots coming in. Unfortunately the uh, Friday is, is very far out of range. Um, the, the missile, or the uh, cannons really don't have much chance of uh, landing at this distance the uh, shells are just too slow in the air and uh, let's get a let's get a peek at the uh, the cannons firing see the uh, large valley of missiles coming from the broadsword heading towards the Friday And the broadsword seems to be doing all right. And uh, we get to see those guns firing there. Very cool. I'm not seeing the smoke. It should uh, be deploying smoke here. The uh, Friday has a... Uh, a decent laser. It's not uh, super strong, but it, it does a good amount of damage um, if you don't have any smoke protecting you. It's like the lambs of the broadsword doing a really good job here, taking out those missiles from the Friday before they land. And uh, I think if the Friday comes in too close here, it, it could be in trouble. Um, if the if it gets in range of those guns, um, it only takes you know uh, three or four shells from the uh, broadsword getting through its shields, and uh, it could be crippled. You can see these shells are, are not that far. They're they're missing by like forty or fifty meters. So, uh, not all that inaccurate. If the uh, Friday gets just a little bit closer, um, and it looks like it's going to do just that, it is heading straight for the broadsword. This could be a very bad idea. Wouldn't that be interesting if the, uh, the broadsword lost to the first two kings but uh, was able to take out the champion? Uh, unfortunately for the broadsword, this is purely an exhibition match. Um, just, just for entertainment value. starting to connect on the broadsword. And there, we see, I see a little bit of smoke. Maybe we're just not seeing the smoke due to uh, degraded mode. I don't see the cannons from the broadsword firing. They may have been uh, disabled by these missiles. Oh yeah, wow. Just a, a monster hole right through the broadsword there. It looks like uh, some of those missiles were able to get um, inside the broadsword and uh, detonate its ammo stores. It has been uh, just massively uh, cored out there. And uh, we'll no doubt uh, 
be despawning soon. Let's get a uh, damage report. Yeah, down to 52%. Uh, Friday still 100%. And there it is, the two damage. The broadsword, uh, we will say goodbye to you for now, but uh, hopefully we see you back real soon. Um, thanks again to the Shadow Kick for uh, submitting this craft. You know, very cool. Appreciate appreciate the submission, and uh, we'll, I'm sure we'll we'll see you uh, again soon. And uh, that's it for this episode. Um, I'll probably have some more episodes up here in the next couple of days. I have a little extra time to get that done. So uh, if you're, you're enjoying these battles as I am, uh, tune in to the next video. Uh, we'll see you then.